Hello friends, welcome to the learning theories part 2. In part 2, we will study cognitive theories. In the last video, we have studied about behaviorism in which greater emphasis was given on stimulus response learning. Learning was considered as an association between stimulus and response. Thus, no consideration was given to the holistic perspective of learning task in behaviorism. This is precisely the drawback which led three German psychologists to develop a learning theory as an alternative to stimulus response theory. These learning theories is also known as gestalt theory and the psychology associated with it is known as gestalt psychology. Gestalt psychology later on laid the foundation for cognitive psychology. Cogn cognitive psychologists like Brunner, Piaget and Asubel worked on cognitive learning which had a base in gestalt psychology. The main emphasis of cognitive theory is that the learning task is perceived in a holistic perspective instead of atomistic perspective. The new school of thought on cognitive theories stress on gestalt learning. It gives importance to the perception of whole, not the collective association of ideas as given by behaviorist. The pioneer of the school propagated few laws of learning, but the landmark contribution to cognitive development was by Piaget, who provided four stages of cognitive development. These are sensory motor stage from birth to two years. Piaget named this stage sensory motor for the infant uses sensory and motor abilities to interact with and respond to the immediate environment it is surrounded with. The second is pre-operational stage from age 2 to 7. The pre-operational stage is characterized by the development of language, reasoning, intuition and concept formation. The pre-operational stage is characterized by animism. The third stage is concrete operational. It is from 7 to 11 years. This stage is differentiated from pre-operational stage in terms of development of logical thinking in the children. The fourth stage is formal operational stage from age 11 and above. Formal operational stage is characterized by abstract thinking and beginning of the adolescent thinking unlike the earlier stages which thinking process of the child was governed by concrete object during the formal operational stage a child gets engaged in abstract thinking. Like Piaget, Bruno also talked of three important stages of cognitive growth. These are number one stage an active stage. An active stage is characterized by grasping of things by sense organs and expressing them through physical action. It is similar to the sensory motor stage of Piaget. The behavior of the child is reflected through psychomotor action. For example, you must have seen child crawls to hold a toy or the older child learns how to ride a bicycle. Second stage is iconic stage. Here there is a use of visual imaginary to represent a concrete world out there by the child. The child learns to make pictures of flowers, houses and birds which was not possible in earlier stage. The last stage is symbolic stage. It is more advanced stage of cognitive growth. Here the child develops abstract images of his or her experiences, they are no longer confined to visual imaginary and they can describe their experience with the help of language or a use of symbols. Brunner also contributed to discovery learning and intuitive thinking in children. But discovery learning has its own advantages and disadvantages. For example, through discovery learning, though the child is able to have a 
ex first hand experience and developed his intellectual capacity and also able to remember the things which he discovered but the teacher on the other hand is not able to handle the discovery learning method when there are more children because the it is very tedious and time consuming and it is also dif very difficult to implement when there are more children. Next psychologist who have contributed to the human learning is David Azubel. He provided the theory of meaningful learning and concept of advanced organizer. He classified learning into two categories, reception versus discovery learning and rote versus meaningful learning. According to David Azubel, reception learning follows deductive method whereas discovery learning takes place through inductive method. For example, lecture representation are generally receptive in nature whereas laboratory works are discovery in nature. On the other hand, meaningful learning takes place when the task is associated with what the learner knows and rote learning occurs when the task is not associated with what the learner knows or learner lacks the relevant prior knowledge. Going further, Azubel described advanced organizer as playing an important role in facilitating meaningful learning and retention of new information. Its major functions are to explain, integrate and interrelate the material in the learning task with already learnt material and to help the learner discriminate the new material from the previously learnt material. An advanced organizer gives learner an overview of what is to come that help them store, label and package the content for the retention and later use which help the learner to learn the content easily. Thus here we finish the cognitive theory of learning. In this video we have learned that cognitive theory lays stress on gestalt theory. This learning theory perceives holistic perspective of learning task giving importance to perception of whole not the collective association of ideas as given by behaviorist. Now let us see the importance of cognitive theory. Gestalt theories of learning have lot of implications for human learning. Most complex learning occurs in human beings through perception of the whole situation or by using insight. Young children in primary classes use their insight to solve many learning problems when they are provided with concrete materials. When they grow up, they do not require concrete materials to manipulate and learn. Instead, they can use their insight to learn abstract learning problems. In schools and colleges, teachers should encourage students to solve different problems using insight. In teaching of science subjects and mathematics, gestalt approach is very helpful. Difficult mathematical and science problem can be solved by children if they are encouraged the opportunity to perceive the learning situation in totality leading to easy learning by the children. Now let us do MCQ on cognitive theory. Question number 1. Cognitive theory is also known as the answer of question 1 is B because cognitive theory is associated with gestalt psychology and therefore it is known as gestalt theory. Question number 2. At which stage of development Piaget talks about object permanence? Answer of question 2 is A because according to Piaget's stages of development object permanence is seen in sensory motor stage where the infant believes in the permanence of an object if it is within her view. Question number 3 who is known for his contribution to discovery learning and intuitive thinking? Answer of question 3 is C 
because it was Brunner who made his contribution to discovery learning and intuitive thinking in children. Question number 4. Who gave the concept of advanced organizer? Answer of question 4 is D because as well a cognitive psychologist gave the concept of advanced organizer. Here we finish cognitive theory.